These games would be perfect for the Switch. Okay, let's be honest, every game would be great on the Switch. Before we begin, we publish new content all week long, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're naming off some Nintendo classics we'd love to see on the Switch, be it a remaster, re-release, or as part of a collection. Number 10, Pokemon Snap. Pokemon Snap is way past overdue for a remaster or re-release. This game launched roughly two decades ago, and there hasn't been any effort to revisit it since. What makes the neglect even more shocking is that Pokemon Snap sold over 3.5 million units. There's potential in a sequel or remaster. In addition to the control scheme, putting the console in handheld mode could let players use the Switch like a real camera, thanks to the system's accelerometer and gyro sensor. Opportunity is knocking on your door, Nintendo, and it wants to remind you that Pokemon Snap once existed. Get on it! Number 9. A Donkey Kong Country Remaster There isn't a whole lot we change in the SNES Donkey Kong Country games, but the visuals haven't aged too well, especially the first one. Don't get us wrong, they looked great at the time. The thing is that the assets were pre-rendered and made for televisions back in the 90s, and the standard resolution back then was 240p. They just don't translate well, especially on larger screens. It'd be really nice to see Rare's old gems get spruced up a bit with the use of a remaster. Those barrels and bananas have a lot of replay value, so why not make them a little less pixelated? Number 8. Chibi-Robo Poor Chibi-Robo hasn't had a stellar career in video games. The character debuted on the Nintendo GameCube towards the end of the console's life to solid reviews, but since then, Chibi-Robo games have ranged from mediocre to absolutely terrible. His first game was one of the best GameCube titles, boasting a captivating story, unique gameplay, and quirky charm. Unfortunately, the game undersold, and so far, too many people never heard of it. With the Nintendo Switch selling over 10 million units within its first two years, now might be a good time to reintroduce the character and remaster the first game while the pot is boiling. Number 7. Super Mario All-Stars plus Super Mario World We know you can play some of Mario's earliest adventures as part of the Switch Online NES library, but what we really want are the SNES updates of those games. We'd be ecstatic to see Super Mario All-Stars launch on the Switch, and Nintendo would be wise to make it the 1994 version which included Super Mario World to really drive sales. In fact, an updated and expanded version of All-Stars that would include Yoshi's Island and Super Mario RPG would really get gamers excited. You'd have a massive collection of SNES Mario games all in one package, and we'd be glued to our Switch for days on end. Now excuse us while we lock ourselves in the basement with these games just like we did back then. Number 6. Star Fox 64 3D At first, we were considering Star Fox Zero, but then we remembered the controls sucked. Plus, it'd be almost impossible to reconstruct the whole experience since the game is built around those controls. Chances are that you've already played this game through a dozen times, but there's just something special about it that keeps us coming back. Is it the exciting dogfights? The cheesy dialogue? Doing barrel rolls? While the game got a visual update on the Nintendo 3DS, it's been seven years, and we wouldn't mind having a newer version of this N64 classic. What's wrong, huh? Nothing. Nothing's wrong. Number 5. Virtual Boy Wario Land As far-fetched as this may sound, the Virtual Boy wasn't a complete train wreck. Sure, the set was basically a health hazard, but that doesn't mean the games themselves were all bad. Take Virtual Boy Wario Land, for example. The game was a very solid platformer, and its ideas of levels transitioning between the foreground and background inspired games like Donkey Kong Country Returns and Mutant Muds. 
So clearly, there's something to be had here, and it'd be interesting to revisit a game that's been buried underneath the Virtual Boy's awful reputation. Number 4. Kid Icarus Uprising Not this guy! But I don't want to be an eggplant again! Huh? We know exactly what you're thinking. Really? The one with the awkward controls? Ignoring that small complaint for a minute, Kid Icarus Uprising was actually a well-made game. It delivered an entertaining single-player experience as well as an addictive online multiplayer mode. With the Switch's online service finally out, Kid Icarus Uprising could have a bright future on the console. The controls would be easier to work with thanks to the dual analog sticks, and it'd be a fun game to play with friends. Worst case, Nintendo could make a spin-off of just the multiplayer, and we'd still be down. I'll strip you of your wings and sever you from the heavens forever! Number 3. Mother 3 It's the game Nintendo seemingly doesn't want Western audiences to have. Fans have been clamoring for Mother 3's Western release for years. Why hasn't it happened yet? No clue. Mother 3 tells one of the most beautiful and emotional stories in video games. We wouldn't mind if it's a direct port, but eventually, Nintendo, you need to release this game to the world. That being said, there are enough Mother fans out there to justify a wider launch, and the best way to reach out to new players would be a Mother collection. Or you could just finally launch Mother 3 in North America and PAL regions. Number 2. Super Mario 64 Stages as Super Mario Odyssey DLC In a way, Super Mario Odyssey is Super Mario 64 too. It follows the same open-world collect-a-thon structure as the original Super Mario 64, which makes us crave to see some levels get remade for Odyssey. Womp's Fortress, Dire Dire Docks, and Lethal Lava Land hold a special place in our hearts. Imagine the level of detail Nintendo could implement in recreating these levels for Odyssey. Well, maybe don't imagine Jolly Roger Bay. Some of us don't want to ever see that freaky eel again. Number 1. The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time and The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask Even though we live in a world where Breath of the Wild exists, we can't help coming back to the older Zelda games, Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask. Both tell captivating stories and boast unique characters to meet. Getting this on the Switch wouldn't be that arduous of a task either, right? After all, both titles have had remakes on the Nintendo 3DS. All Nintendo would have to do is up the resolution to 1080p and get them running at 60fps. We'll be waiting here, wallets in hand, to give them our money. Check out these other great clips from Mojo Plays, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos.